Hey guys, for any of you that don't know me, my name is Jordy at Carving Fusion. This channel is based on carving, power carving tools and power carving burrs. So I just ordered these burrs from, uh, I believe it was Wish, from China. You know, if you guys are on uh, social media like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like uh, Facebook or Instagram, you'll see these videos, you'll see a video coming up of pro carvers using these bits to do their carvings. So I thought, and some people asked me if I've tried them. So I thought I'd order some and uh, see how well they went. I think I ordered these on Wish. So these are the exact same burrs that are on that ad. So you can see that they're like uh, chisels. They're like knives, right? They're not too sharp. Well, they're sharp. So let me get these. Uh, this, these are one eighth. They go on your Dremel. Let me get these in my Dremel 4000 flex shaft and see how these work. Well, I already know how they work. I've already tried them. So I did all this stuff with them. So they're not bad cutters, actually. But let's just give them a quick uh, demo. Okay, guys. In the original, the first clip I showed there was four, but they come with five. Okay. So here's the biggest size to the smallest size. All right. This is in my Dremel 4000 flex shaft. Um, and they, these cutters have three sides to them. One. Two, it's hard to see in the video, but there's three sides. Okay, so this is a really soft piece of Western Red Cedar. And this is going with the grain, okay? So we'll do one with the grain. We'll do these cuts, and then we'll feather them out. And then we'll do these cr cuts across the grain. Sorry, across the grain, and then we'll feather them out. Okay, so we'll do these ones first. So you can see how deep they went in there instantly, right? Remember, this is soft western red cedar, okay? So now let's try and do a quick feather out. Okay, when you carve with these these type of uh, burrs, okay, they can catch the grain. So you want to, when you carve, it's hard to, for me to explain, but you want to carve with grain, okay? Let's see here. You got stairs, okay? Pretend it's a flight of stairs. This is when I first started carving. Always carve down the stairs when you're carving. Pretend this is the grain here. Don't carve up the stairs because if you carve up the stairs, it's going to hit this piece. And it's going to chip this whole piece off, right? So if you carve up the stairs, it's going to hit that piece and chip that piece off. It's hard to explain, but maybe somebody else will be able to explain it better. But they do work. They do work. So let's try this other one here. Let's try it against the grain. And you guys don't forget I'm going full speed. You guys don't shouldn't go full speed if you're just learning, right? So you can see how deep those cuts are in there. Oops, sorry. Okay. So now let's feather them out. So now I'm going. When I'm feathering this out, I'm going down the stairs in the green, right? They cut nice when you get it figured out, guys. You can see right there, okay? You can see the depth. 
That's like half an inch depth right there, okay? So they cut nice when you get them figured out, but you have to let the bird do the work. That's hard to explain. See, the tool's wanting to push this way. When I'm when I'm running this, it's want the hand piece is wanting to push this way, so I'm letting it do it, right? Okay, so let me try the other way. Go now. Let me try pushing it. See, pushing it is when you'll rip the wood. Can you see there how it's ripped? Let me let it let me let it pull again. So you can see that. So let's try out a piece of uh, harder wood here now, okay? I got this piece of uh this is Pacific U wood, super hard stuff, guys. Super tight grain. So let's try. Uh, let's try and do a line too. I'll just do a swig, swig, swiggly line, a wind line. Cut super fast, super deep. That's, I've, I've gone half an inch deep in there. I don't know if you guys can see in this video. Okay, so now let's try feathering this out. Try it slower. Okay, you guys can see there it cuts pretty good. It cuts pretty good. Okay, there's about more than half an inch deep. I'd say that's three quarters there, that hole. So let's try this smaller one. You know, I'm pretty impressed with these birds, guys. I really am. But you don't know how long they'll last. And uh, they're not proven to me, right? So, okay. Let's put the smaller one in. This is the smallest size bear. So let's pretend that we're going to do some, uh, like, I'm not going to do deep carving with this. Let's pretend we're going to do, let's pretend there's a wood spirit here. Okay. Like, uh, sorry. Got a wood spirit here. His eyes here, his mustache. Okay, just quick. Let's pretend that we're going to do beard hairs, okay?
Okay, there you go. For the price you can get these burrs for, I don't think they're too bad. You know, I'll definitely be keeping these burrs in my arsenal. And if I could use them for certain projects, I'll be using them. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say rush out and buy them because these are trying to steal guys. But uh, I like I showed you, they cut like I ordered these things expecting that they were gonna be a piece of junk and not work. I think these things are more dangerous. If you hit them on your skin, like hit hard, like uh, let's do an example here. Here, Jordy, let's be a, uh, one of those test dummies. Uh, like those uh, guys had one of those test test dummies or whatever. So here, let's run this, and I'll hit it against my skin softly. Okay, it's hitting the skin. Taking the nail way off, but okay. So, but if you hit your hand hard with these things, this thing is gonna rip the shit out of your skin, and you're gonna need stitches. Okay, stitches for sure, hundred percent. So, anyways, guys, um, I think that's enough with this. So there you go. Here's a Dremel wrench, okay? Let's see how far I took that in. Look, up to the hole. They're good cutters, guys. I say just be safe with them. They're not going to be my go-to cutters. Absolutely not. I got my cuts all extreme. Those are my go-tos. But I think these are good cutters. Just be safe. Maybe get yourself a cut-resistant uh, glove. Hope it helps. See you later.